Hello and welcome to week four of my 52 week challenge. This week I'm going to be talking about makeup because when I went vegan I started thinking about my food and then that opened up a whole avenue of thinking about ethical lifestyle decisions. And then I started thinking about cruelty free options because I hadn't even considered that. So some statistics on actually the impact environmentally on testing and animals. So looking at the National Institute of Health over 18 months, 1.5 million pounds of waste was produced from the animals being in, in captivated and kind of tested on. And animal waste, they had a lot of toxic and harmful chemicals in the waste just because of the way they're tested and what the chemicals are putting on them. It comes as a byproduct. Once these animals have been tested on and they need to be disposed of, there's been a new study um, saying that 2.1 million animals have been incinerated and killed based on humans needs for animal testing and that is an incredible amount of animals that have been used for animal testing and there's so many products now on the supermarket, in the high street, in so many retailers that don't go through this unnecessary process of like putting animals through a lot of pain and torture but then also like a waste of byproducts so when they're inseminated a lot of these um, emissions get released into the atmosphere and because there's a lot of chemicals associated with the animals and the byproducts get burnt, all these emissions get into the air. So this is an unnecessary process. How I started switching up was looking online. Um, and now there's a lot more information out there. But <clears throat> I found this online for a lot of blog posts. But this is amazing Instagram that I follow. And I'll leave you a photo here of brands that do test an animal still. And then brands that don't and the ones you should be looking for on the high street. Um, but for me it was a gradual switch because I didn't want to waste these products I had so I made sure that I used them all up and then when I started running out looking for better options um, I did do switching out for more like plastic alternatives when I first did it because it was cheaper and more convenient when I was at university but from looking at the video a lot of these products that I'm using are actually plastic free and it's part of the Naked range that Lush have released recently um, which is fantastic and they have them in, in Oxford's Oxford Street in London and they also do it online um, but I think they're really really good quality makeup. I just want to start the video by saying that I'm not a makeup artist and to be honest I'm very minimalistic when it comes to makeup but occasionally do like putting on cruelty free makeup. So first of all I like to apply facial oil. I use rosehip oil which has amazing benefits to the skin. The mascara that I use this is honestly the best cruelty free vegan mascara I've used. I've been trialing them for years and this is by far the best one because it doesn't smudge at all. Um, it's called Beauty Without Cruelty and I bought this from Infinity Foods in Brighton. They have an online website, um, definitely go check them out. On my foundation which is from Lush and is part of the Naked range. So actually comes in cardboard packaging and the shape of it just enables you to apply it directly to your skin or you can use it on like a sponge or a brush. Um, I like to just rub it in with my hands. And now I'm going to be putting on bronzer, which I got a bit excited and put a tiny bit too much on to begin with, but I just blended it in. But yeah, this bronzer is from Lush. Lush also do contour sticks, which is part of their um, Naked range. Now putting on an eyeshadow stick, which is again part of the Lush Naked range. I'm going to discuss Lush's new naked lipstick. So Lush are so innovative and so creative. They have come up with package free lipstick so you can actually get refills without having to buy the plastic container each time. Actually using in the video an old Lush lip gloss I got a couple of years ago which is um, got packaging but I am from going forward going to be buying package free. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial of me applying cruelty free makeup. I hope you guys have enjoyed week four my 52 week challenge and hopefully this will give you a little bit more insight about the makeup industry and how you can make better switches for the animals but also this planet and you still look fantastic so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next week